Welcome to the 8th grade math homework helper series. Tonight's homework is PT4, Pythagorean Theorem with Word Problems. We're going to start by taking a look at number 3. Find the slant height of the cone. So if you take a look at the picture of the cone, you can see here that the marker for the height and the radius sort of form a right angle and the side of the cone might be the hypotenuse. that shape there. And if we slide it over here and take the measurements with us, you can see that we're set up now to use Pythagorean theorem to determine the hypotenuse length. So we'll plug these numbers into the uh, Pythagorean theorem. We get 5 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared, which brings us to 25 plus 144 equals c squared. We have the square root of 169 over the square root of c squared, which is going to remove the square root and the exponent from c, and it's going to get us to 13. So the slant height of the cone is 13 meters. Number four, a juice box manufacturer wants to design a straw that cannot accidentally get stuck in the box. If the length of the straw must be an integer value, what is the smallest possible length of the straw? Well, if we take a look at the box, we can see, without all the pictures on it, that there's actually, this is the main triangle that we want to find right in here, this larger triangle right here. I'll throw some color in it to help kind of highlight it. The problem with that is this bottom length, this leg, if you think about this making the right angle, and this being the hypotenuse, this leg is an unknown amount. We know that's 3 centimeters, we know this side is 5 centimeters, and we know that the side of the box, this leg, is 15. We don't know this leg. So we have a smaller triangle of which that would be the hypotenuse of that we need to find before we can find a large triangle. So we'll start with that. If we take the Pythagorean theorem and plug the 3 and the 5 in there, we'll get 9 plus 25 equals c squared. We'll get 34 equals c squared. And instead of solving 34, the square root of 34, we'll leave it as that for now. Because now we know that this leg right here, its length is the square root of 34. And it'd be easier just to plug this into the next equation that we have than it would be to take the value of it. So still using a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but now we're trying to find the larger hypotenuse. We'll take the square root of 34 squared plus 15 squared equals c squared. Now you may recognize that the square root and squared are going to cancel each other out. So we're left with 34 plus 15 squared, which is 225, equals c squared, which brings us to the square root of 259 equals the square root of c squared, which is going to give us a full calculator display of 16.09347694 equals c. But we need to have an integer value, so we can't leave it as this, and we need to know the smallest length possible that the straw won't fall in the box. So we're left to round either up or down, but if we rounded down, that would make the straw a little bit shorter than the overall box length diagonally, and that would enable the straw to possibly fall in. So rounding up is the only thing that makes sense here. So in that case, we're looking at 17 centimeters being the value of, of that diagonal hypotenuse. Lastly, we'll take a look at question 5. An oil tank in the shape of a cylinder. A dipstick can be used to measure the amount of oil in the tank. The dipstick has a length that is an integer value. So we know we're going to have to round when we do find it. What's the smallest possible length of a dipstick that cannot be submerged completely in the oil tank? Well, if we start by taking a look at what angle we have here, we have the side of the tank as an angle, and we have the bottom of the tank as a leg for that right angle. And diagonally across is our hypotenuse. So we can plug this information into the equation, keeping in mind that 20 centimeters was the radius, so we need the full diameter. We're going to use 40. So we have 15 squared plus 40 squared equals c squared, which gets us to 25 
plus 1600 equals c squared. Add those together, we get 1825. We need to find the square root of that. And that gets us to an overall length of 42.72001873. That's a full calculator display. But again, we want the dipstick to be able to fit to the bottom without going beneath the top of the tank. And so once again, we're in a situation where we need to round up to make sure that the dipstick is long enough to not do that. And so 42.7 is going to round up to 43. Please use the work that was done for you tonight to help you to solve any additional problems that were on your homework. And remember, the key to success in math is not only working hard, but working smart.